All right, so we're going to be easing into the new season with a new background and a new video with Gsep because it seems like you guys like Gsep a lot on this channel. I do too. So today we're going to be doing something that has been requested on this channel and it's a little bit different than the request itself, but I think it's still going to be pretty useful. So I can say that it is Webflow inspired because you can see this effect quite a lot on a lot of Webflow websites or you used to a year ago. I don't know, but it's still going strong. So let's get into it. All right. I've had so many issues with this video, filming this video. Technology had failed me miserably today, but it doesn't matter. We can carry it on. So let's do that. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a container on this page and I'm going to set this container to be full width. This is up to you and what design you're planning to use for this for. I am going to say 100 VH and I'm going to start now adding my heading. So I'm going to add a heading here. By the way, by now, I don't know if you know, you can simply have your container selected. Yes. And then go to add your element or you, your widget and let's say i want to add another heading so you simply click on that widget and the widget will be added into that container it doesn't really work all the time for some reason obviously there are some things that need to be worked out but no more dragging i think it makes the workflow easier just a heads up all right. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just give some text to this title and say it is working. And let's uh, just style it a bit. I'm not going to give this text a color because we're going to add some CSS and we're going to have some special effects added to this text. All right, so let's look for Sora. I, to be honest, starting to love this uh, font quite a lot. I don't know why it's probably, I don't know. It's just a little bit special. All right, and it's free. It's a Google font, so. All right, so I'm gonna set this to be 10VW. And it is quite big, right? It is super nice. All right, what I'm going to do is I want to be to have this in uh, the center, align the heading to the center. And I might want to justify the, the content center as well, because we need to have some space between the heading itself and the top of the page. We will be adding something on the top of the page, but you always need to have something between the heading that you want to be highlighted on scroll and the top of the page. So this effect has time to roll in and obviously it has an effect. <laughs> Otherwise, obviously there will be no space for scroll, right? I mean, that's just logic. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're just simply going to du duplicate this, duplicate and i will leave it at three but obviously if you want to add 10 headings it is your decision all right so let's add our css in here so i'm gonna go to my code i'm gonna select this and let's go back to our oops where are we our uh, container the main container that this heading is sitting in and I'm gonna go all the way to the custom CSS and just to drop it in here. You will not see anything happening on the page. Uh, you have to go out of the editor and hit preview. All right, and as you can see, what we have here is the selector and we are using the Elementor heading title, which is the, the Elementor class for the headings. So bear in mind that the headings that you have in this container will take the effect that we're going to be doing now. So as you can see, we have a special color here and we are using a background for the text, which is a linear gradient. I'm not going to translate 
to what it's saying here. All right, let's have a quick preview. Let's see what is happening in the preview. And this is what's happening. So nothing is actually showing because we have not added the GSAP JavaScript code. So we need to do that now. And let's go back. Also, actually what I want to do is set the way of the text to be 700. It looks much better. It's a little bit more impactful, but this is just me and my design here, sort of design. All right. So, okay. Now we are going to add an HTML tag right in here. So we can create um, another container because another container will be created for us uh, the moment we add our HTML. So let's test this out to see if it's working. So let's go to our widgets and I have my HTML widget right here. So I'm just going to click on it and it worked. It actually went right in the container that I was uh, working in. So that works. Okay, let's go and grab our code and keep in mind that this code, as always, will be in the description below. So look there first before you ask questions. If it's not there, ask questions and I will always answer or I try. <laughs> All right, add it in here. All right, should everything should be okay. Make sure that the class of the heading, the Elementor heading title that I mentioned earlier, that is in the CSS code, it is added here. So do not change this. If you do, this will not work. I'm not going to explain everything that is happening here. If you want to play with these values, be my guest. We can switch it up to, let's say, 50% and then 50% just play around a little bit and it also depends a lot on your design uh, setup so keep that in mind this these values are not set in stone this is what uh, we start with and change according to our own needs all right so i'm gonna publish and let's go have a look i mean it's still not working properly because there's no scroll. We don't have any scroll. The page has exactly the size of the screen. So there's nothing there to scroll. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and I am going to add, this is so annoying. Elementor, can you please fix this? For example, I'm trying to add another container on top. For that, what I need to do is select it and basically give it some margin top and that's the only way I can access it. This is ridiculous. All right. So I'm going to go to my templates because I have something already set up so I don't make you wait. Yeah, my hero cool. I'll be using this, but you are free to use whatever you want. So let's give this a full width and that is it. I'm going to save that publish i mean and let's see how this works and we need to add a little bit more stuff on the bottom because there's nothing there's nothing for this to scroll to all right let's keep adding stuff all right so i'm gonna add something in here i already have oops I already have something prepared. I will add it here. Then let me add here. I mean, these are just random things for us to play around to see how this text rolls. Um, obviously, do not use these many containers if you don't need to. Um, all right, let's see. All right, so it's already starting. I don't like that. We could have something more on top, um, but let's see how it works. And pretty much it did what it was supposed to do, right? All right, let's let's go back. I'm gonna give maybe this a little bit more. No, this a little bit more space on top maybe a little bit more all right as you can see that issue has 
disappeared and now our text is ready to be revealed. I mean, it's pretty cool, right? Boom. And yeah. And you can have, obviously, you can, this text can be something very impactful that you are, you want people to, to be focused on, on scroll and remember, basically. So I think it's, it's not just a party trick. It's also something that can add real value to any website, it's, except for the, the visual element. It can add actual value it's practical i think it's pretty cool also if you want to change the color of your text obviously you can do it from here so i would advise to simply change the three values that you have right here in front so i'm gonna set this to these values these are my values and basically this fourth one will give you the opacity of the text so the lower the number is the more opaque or transparent your text is and i advise that you do this if you want your effect to be quite out there so let's keep it like this and let's update and let's have a look and as you can see this is how it's looking i think it's pretty cool and let's go back and set it to Let's say six. It's pretty cool, but as you can see, our scroll reveal is not that crazy impactful. Okay, so what you can change as well is basically the background color. So that would be these two values here. So I'm going to replace this with this one. So it's less white, more close to the color that we have here. I mean, it can be anything. So let's have a look. Okay. As you can see, it's quite close, right? I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's just less impactful. Still very nice, I think. Yeah. So you can play around with these values and see what works for you and i think it's pretty cool if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time